know, my whole life, I wanted to, to be, you know, Junior Seau. Nobody else, I wanted to be like my uncle. Everything that he's done from his foundation to the way he acted, the way he treated people. Just hearing my name on draft day, you know, I wanted my grandparents to be there and my uncle to be there. Everybody that, you know, that I hold close to me to be there. And the fact that he's not there, just having this moment with him because that's the way we connected is, is going to be the most emotional moment to me. What's up, Uncle Bug? Draft day's in a couple weeks, man. Hopefully we make it happen. Been working a lot for this, man, ever since we was grinding on the beach with everybody starting it since we was day ones. Hopefully we can do it all. Growing up, I go into his house and I just see trophies on trophies and jerseys. Most inspirational player, MVP. He had a picture of him shaking President George Bush's hand. I was just sitting there like jealous. This dude's making a living. On the field, he was a beast, just giving up his body, showing so much passion and love for the game, sort of what a, you would want out of a football player, especially out of a veteran. My uncle influenced a lot of people, but the way he influenced me directly is just work ethic. My uncle is a very hardworking guy. He wasn't really telling me about the X's and O's of football, but just working hard because that's really what's going to get you to where you want to be as an individual. Junior would privately call Ian and give him heads up, like counseling, advice, and, or just say, hey, good job. Leaving Kansas State and going back to Grossman, a place that's home, a place that's familiar, it was, it was an interesting situation at that point in my life. Went back home, you know, a couple months later, my uncle obviously passed away. Rest in peace to him. This is a suicide investigation that Junior Seo died from a self-inflicted self gunshot wound to the chest. Ian took it hard. And I think it still hurts him. I think it still hurts him that he's gone because he doesn't get that phone call anymore. Coping with my, my hero, my person I idolized passing away, it really just took a huge toll on me and I didn't really know what to do. It took a couple months off and then my uncle was actually a linebacker coach at Grossmont. Talked to me about it and we sort of just decided to go with the flow. Went to Grossmont first game, called you the desert, boom, five, six sacks. I was like, you know what, man, I might as well just stick with this. Went into the next week, four sacks. I was like, you know, I'm just going to play football, see what I can do with it. I always ask him, as well as I do, God, you know, please protect me, give me your strength. And Uncle, man, if, you're, if you still want to play, man, play through me and let's go make some plays. This story that I know a lot of people were talking about a number of months ago, talking about Junior Seau. Now, this team of scientists who analyzed his brain tissue have discovered he had a debilitating brain disease. Doctors believe the former NFL all star linebacker who took his own life, that was just last May, had this disease. It's known as CTE, caused by two decades of taking hard hits to his head. After that came out, a lot of people in my family didn't really want anybody playing football or anything like that. I am scared of Ian's life, but when I watch him play, he does take good care of himself out in the football field. You know, I sit back and I think about my brain all the time. I'm cautious about the concussions, um, especially after what happened to Malco, obviously. You know, I'm not really worried from that aspect because once I start seeing signs, then I'll know to walk away from the game. So my family, on their ideas of me playing in the NFL, are all over the place. They all want to support me and, you know, tell me, Ian, it's okay if you don't want to play, but if you do, we'll support you. I just want to see if I can do this, that's it. I just, I just want to go out there and show people I can make it. My mom, she doesn't want me to play, but she's obviously supporting me. Ian may not have that, like, er, look like my brother, but Ian has the heart like my brother, Junior. On draft day, you know, if my name gets called and I get that phone call and say, Ian, you're, you're coming here, I'm gonna sit there and, and just, you know, just think to myself, everyone's probably gonna be happy slapping me and saying, good job, man, we're proud of you and all that stuff. And then I'll probably go somewhere, maybe go to my uncle's gravesite and just sit there, just me and him and talk and, you know, just tell him, hey man, we did it. 
Right now he's looking down at Ian saying how proud he is of him moving on, not letting negative things bring him down with what he had done. Junior is happy right now. He is so happy that he that Ian has continued on moving forward, that he's the only one that didn't just stop. I feel like my uncle will be proud just because I never gave up. Uh, like, like I said before, I spent a lot of time idolizing my uncle, wrote papers about him and, and doing all these things. So finally being in this position to, to actually do it puts me in, in a position to just say, hey, uncle, thank you for sort of motivating me and inspiring me to actually do something with my life.